This isn't a prompt. It is a fully autonomous AI employee that I built in about 15 minutes. It just did a week's worth of market research for me, and I am going to show you how to build it. So how do we go from blank file to the magic you saw earlier? Well, it all starts with these two lines that allow us to go from not just using AI, but building an autonomous AI agent. By the end of this video, you will have built an AI agent, which is a foundational skill for this new era of business. You'll be able to build digital employees which can analyze competitors, write content, write copy, create ads, do pretty much anything you would want it to do, which is a huge competitive edge if you're a founder or you're an employee that likes to kick ass. In fact, my entire business is moving toward agent-based employees and Crew AI is one of the simplest ways to do that. So we're gonna do this in three simple loops. First, we're gonna create the agent brain and give it a purpose. Second, we're gonna give it some tasks to execute and tools to execute them with. And then third, we're gonna connect it all together into a powerful AI crew that will do whatever we want it to. So let's get building. Okay, so first things first, if you've ever used a tool like ChatGPT, you're stuck in a prompt response loop, right? It's a very reactive process where you give a question and it answers. And we want to move toward a world where we can be proactive. That's where our agent comes in. We want to take an open-ended task and allow it to execute on that task autonomously without needing much intervention from us. Now, the very first step for an easy start is just using Career AI's quick start version. I will have a link to this installation guide down below in this video. It is really comprehensive. It takes less than two minutes to get up and running. And if you hit any roadblocks, luckily you have a super intelligent language model that can help you get past whatever issue you have. So once you install Crew AI using that command line tool, you are going to have a project built out for you already, which is really handy because then we can just come in and start customizing this thing. So here, the first file we want to go to inside of our configuration is our agents.yaml file. So here in this file, this is where we want to define our first agent. But how do we even think about an agent? Like what are the different parts that make this thing up in the first place? Well, the first thing an agent needs to have inside of Crew AI is a role. So in this one, we could say, for example, that this is going to be a market research analyst. So if our topic, for example, was vibe coding, then the role will be vibe coding market research analyst. Then we need to give it a goal. So the goal for this agent is going to be to uncover viral YouTube topics in, again, vibe coding as an example. So it has a role, it has a goal. And then the last piece with Crew AI is that it needs to have a backstory. Now the backstory is really key to building agents with Crew AI because we're really telling it how to behave. So we can say you're a seasoned researcher with a knack for uncovering and analyzing SaaS content trends in whatever the topic might be, in this case, vibe coding. You're known for your ability to find the most relevant information and present it in a clear and concise manner. And that's actually as simple as it is. Now we can run the file and we can see that our research is off to the races and Crew AI is doing its thing, executing the agent through. So we created our agent's brain, which is more than just a prompt. It is an entity that has a purpose. And so all this agent really needs now is a specific task. So we have officially now stepped into the world of building real AI agents. Sweet. So we have this AI brain floating around in a jar, but it's kind of useless without hands to be able to do something with. It can't see the internet. It can't browse anything, right? There's nothing that it can really do. It does not have tools at its disposal. And so this is a big point where beginners get stuck in the mud. We have this intelligent AI agent, but we have no means for it to interact with the world around it and orchestrate all of the different tools intelligently to solve a specific problem. So it's actually simpler than you'd think because Crew AI has two options. Number one, they have pre-built tools that you can use. And number two, they allow you to build your own custom tools. So in this case, let's say that we wanted to actually use one of the built-in tools. 
Now, if we wanted to do this in true vibe coding fashion, we could come in here and we could say, please update so that this agent has access to the following crew AI tools. And I'm gonna tell it the two tools, the Serper dev tool and the website search tool. And now we can see that we have imported these tools, the Serper dev tool and the website search tool, and we've given them as access, and we've given our agent access to them in this tools field. Now we just need to define a task, which we can write in plain English. Conduct thorough research about vibe coding. Find the top 10 most popular YouTube videos from vibe coding channels from the last three months. Now we save that. We hop back into our crew.py. And then as we scroll down, we are now defining a task. So the way we do that is with a decorator that says at task. And then we're defining this as a research task. And then we're saying that your task is the task we just made, right? This is the research task coming in from right here. And then we're assigning it to the agent that we made, which is our researcher. So we have a researcher agent that has access to web search tools. It has a specific role and backstory and goal. And then we are assigning it to this specific task, which is a research task. Now, all we need to do is hop back into our console and run this agent again. And boom, look at that. Our agent just on its own went out, did a bunch of market research, browsed the web and completed a task that we gave it. A fully functional digital worker, which is dope. And we didn't really spend a lot of time to dial in exactly what type of outputs we want from these things. We didn't dial in their roles. There was a ton more that we could have added in. So one agent doing one task is pretty cool. But the real magic, the one that builds companies, is getting agents to collaborate with each other intelligently. How do you build a self-directing assembly line where one agent does the research, one agent formulates the report, one agent analyzes it for quality and updates it? It sounds complex, but that's one of the beauties of Crew AI. They make it really simple. First off, congratulations to our researcher, it's getting its first promotion. My little boy is all grown up before my very eyes. So this first agent that we had is now going to manage other agents. And so we're going to quickly vibe code up some other agents. So I've asked Cursor, update her file so that her crew AI researcher now manages two sub-agents, a report writer and a content strategist. They work together to complete the task of generating our 10 new ideas for our channel. And so it went through and did that. And now one other thing that I asked it to add in is that I want to be able to pass in reference channels. Like I want to be able to actually guide it a little bit. And so what we did was we went through and we now added in reference channels that we want it to be able to look at while it's doing its research. Now this here is the magic line that makes it all work. It's where we're creating our crew. And so what happens here is that we're telling it, hey, I want you to pull in all of the agents that we have in this file. So we have several agents. We have our lead researcher. We have our report writer. We have our content strategist. I want you to pull in all of those agents. And then I want you to pull in all of their tasks. So we have the research task, the content strategy task, the report writing task. I want you to pull all of those in. And in this case, I want you to process it sequentially. So there's different types of agent patterns. We're going to run this through a sequential pattern. And so effectively what we are doing is we're relying on crew as a framework to take all of these agents and all of those agents tasks and know how to orchestrate them in the right way to execute on this project autonomously. And here it is guys in 30 seconds, we just replicated a process that would take a human marketing team, honestly, days to do well with the amount of detail and depth that we are asking for. We went from blank file to fully autonomous AI crew that does all of this competitive research for us. Now, this is obviously just the beginning. We did not spend a lot of time going into each agent and into each tool and into each task and really dial them in with specific frameworks that I use, for example, 
to think about these sorts of things. But now you have the fundamental skill of being able to think through and deploy agent-based logic in different areas of your business. In just about 15 minutes, you went from blank page to AI employee. And now you understand the core difference between just training prompts together and getting some sort of output versus building an autonomous agent that can act and reason on its own. This is the skill that will define startups for the next decade and beyond. Now, my goal with this channel is to give you the simplest and most powerful approaches for beginners to start building real stuff with AI. So if you think this video delivered on that in any way, give me a subscribe so that you can get notified when I put out more stuff like this. It's actually genuinely the only way that I can tell if you guys enjoyed this video is to see when I have subscribers that come in from a specific video. But a research agent, it's really just the beginning. What if we were able to now create other agents that take those outputs and use them to write scripts for us or create promotional material for our channel or analyze thumbnail strategies? There's a ton of stuff that we could do, and that is exactly what we are going to do in future videos this month. We're going to keep building out more and more on top of the agent that we already have. And I will put a link to those videos right here as soon as they are live.